I finally gave you notice this time. Yes, she did, and yep. I'm all prepared. <laughs> okay. Good, Good evening. evening. Ha cha cha. What time is it? It's like 6.30. Oh, are you doing this? Yeah. Is it cha cha cha? Cha cha yeah. cha. Although you have like the decollete hanging out and stuff. You got your tattoo showing. My tattoo Somebody shows. thought it was a birthmark one time. You know, more than one person has asked me, wouldn't that be neat to have a heart for a birthmark? <laughs> yeah, that would be the perfect birthmark. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And right over your heart. And right over my heart. <laughs> but it's not. It's not. It's a tattoo. It's a tattoo. It's a tattoo. Uh, so what do you got for me? I just woke up. I know, good morning. <laughs> good morning. It's 6.30 at night. Well, no, I went up early. I was up early and uh, what did I do? You know, ran to the post office, did all the things and then um, put that e-bike tricycle together. Yeah. That is no joke. Three wheels, right? It gets Three wheels. Tricycle, yeah. And I had help and it took five hours, <laughs> almost. It was a lot. That extra wheel, you wouldn't think, but it really adds a lot to having to put it together. I did. I did. And uh, and I didn't eat breakfast this morning. I had my protein shake every morning, you know, that I make uh -huh. with fresh stuff. And um, so then I was starving afterwards. So went to Taco Bell and got some Taco Bell. For breakfast? Well, pretty well, much at, actually, at four o'clock, yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> in the afternoon. Yeah. And um, and then I was tired. So, I, and then I was gonna go to the gym mm -hmm. and I was gonna work out and then I was gonna take a shower and come here fresh as a daisy. I'm like, well, I'm just gonna close my eyes and digest for a minute. And guess what happened? I fell asleep, I betcha. Like, <laughs> yeah, and hard. Well, you needed the rest. I mean, you. Yeah, I worked last night. I put putting the candy away is hard work, but I worked till after ten. I worked from I got there at like I don't know quarter to five. Yeah, and then I just stayed. I let the guy go home early. Pat went home at nine, so I said I'd stay till ten. You're so nice. Yeah, <laughs> like well, Pat, I only have to go to the parking lot. I go so you. Well, can, that's true. Yeah. When you only have to yeah. walk out the door. Yeah, that is better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, so yeah. These reviews are kicking my butt. I did. Um, well, you're getting so many. I mean, just one right after the other, and then, like that one that that really it's nice still one there. doesn't work. Well, it doesn't. It. I believe I mean, it needs a new battery. But they've yeah. been working with me to figure it out. So I think it's going to come to the point that they're just sending a new battery. Oh, I hope so because it's a beautiful bike. I cannot wait to get it's on gorgeous. it. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yes. So anyway, that's that. And, and I'm gonna miss that decor. I, I my my uh, apartment is uh, bike decor. Yes, <laughs> it's the new painted ladies and yeah. bike decor. Hey, there's yeah. a lady on the bike. Ladies. Oh, I did paint one lady, but not the bike. Didn't look like that. No, though. that's like a motorcycle. Ooh, I tell Ooh. you, it's got a a really long padded seat, really padded, and. Two people Here. can sit on I'll it. I'll show them. Yeah. It's still can sitting. It it's out there? of the box. Can you see that? Joy's going to miss that. It's been here oh, for like a month. Oh, yeah. Now. I mean, I, I yep. don't know. Oh, and then, uh, oh, another update. The Tooth Saga. My, my. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I am so upset. And I wrote them after I left here. <laughs> and I just said, I go... I won't be coming to you going, neither will Joy, so we just can't afford it. So listen oh, to you, this. You took me off too? <laughs> yep, you're out of there. Well, can you imagine what he charged me, what they would charge you? I mean, oh. it's highway robbery. Anyway, so you know the bond fell out of my Don't tooth. Don't mention any names. Uh, Don't mention any names. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, you're so subtle. Don't mention any names. <laughs> I mean, you know, he does. Way to whisper. No, I wouldn't yeah. throw anybody under the bus, you know. No, no, I know that. But. But what happened, so the bond just fell out. So um, I bid in, it was my own fault. And because uh, I forget that it's in there because it's like, just feels like my tooth. Yeah. Anyway, if you were with, have been with me for a while, um, so I chipped my tooth a long time ago, like uh, six 
seven years ago. It's just the bottom one right here. Yeah. And you know, I don't chew gum anymore. Oh. I haven't chewed gum it's not Since really that, good no. for your teeth no. to chew gum. And yeah. so, um, and I don't even know how it chipped, but regardless, I went and they just put bond in it, you know, because they're like, there's no need to do anything other, because yeah. it's in the back. Mm -hmm. And uh, the tooth is still good. Even this doctor said, oh, the tooth is fine. You know, we'll just, because I asked him, should I get a cap for it? Like, you know, how much would that be or whatever? And he said, your tooth is healthy. So from now, we'll just get bond until like you want to get a yeah. cap or something. Yeah. Anyway, I digress. So when I was in Florida and it came out, I went to a place that I didn't know, but guess what? It was a dental office of all women. There was not one man. I'm like, are there any men here? And they're like, no. <laughs> and I'm like, ooh, I like it. They were so nice. Anyway, they charged me $150 because literally all they did is, you know, they take a syringe and squirt that mm -hmm. bond on there and then they just use the red light to cure it. And then you're done and it's good to go. And so did that yesterday, went to the dentist that you went to. I had never been to him before. I mean, I brought Joy. Um, and showed up, went in, it was a new dentist. It wasn't the guy, they have a new dentist that's helping out he has a new person oh yeah so it wasn't him so the new dentist oh. well it's not his fault then. yeah so i go in and he looks like a listen the bond just came off i was biting into something i should have known better because i bit it with my front teeth he goes use your molars <laughs> to bite i go yeah thanks for the advice now yeah <laughs> i think i got that and he just looked at it and he goes well maybe we should get an x-ray i go nope don't need an x-ray because that lady even gave me one, the one in um, Florida. And I said, the tooth is healthy. I said, the bond just came out. Yeah. I said, so I just need a filled and whatever. And he's like, okay. And then they're like, do you have insurance? And I'm like, no. And I said, so I'll be paying cash, whatever. So he does it. It takes 20 minutes. Like, you know, we just talk about this tooth. He puts the bond on, you know, and then kind of evens it out, shaves yeah. it down and whatever, all 20 minutes. So then um, I go to the receptionist to pay, like. And you faint. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, then I had to, yeah, yeah. Go to the emergency room because I fainted and hit my head because of how, it Not way, really. No, but, not really. Yeah. But, uh, so I'm like, oh, how much, you know, do I owe ya? And uh, she goes, $455, $455. Did you get that? Four hundred. I, I that's a lot of money. Just to, I mean, that's like a root canal or something. I mean, that's like filling a cavity or something. And I looked at her really. I nearly fell over. Like I was expecting, like the highest I would say would be like two fifty yeah. or something. And uh, I looked at her and I go, I go. I had this done in Florida just like six months ago, and they charged me one hundred and fifty. She goes, well you know, the exam with it. I go, I didn't have an exam. I didn't have x-rays. And I suppose they consider examining the tooth. Like he looked at it and charged me $300 for that. And the thing is, you have to pay it. Yeah. I mean, I mean you, you know. Well, and it's not her fault. She's the receptionist. Well, no, no, no. Do you know no. what I, I mean? I know that, I know that. And I just said, wow. I go, I never expected that. Well, he, it, uh, he is expensive. And, uh, yeah. And I was transferring my stuff over because I was going to go to them for my dentist. And um, I mean, that's highway robbery, highway. And then people have asked me like, oh, you should get dental insurance, you know, where you pay, like we were talking about this $35, $40 a month, you know, for dental insurance. Here's the thing, we, we take really good care of our teeth and I'll pay to get a cleaning. You know, I've done that like once a year and I floss my teeth twice a day. I brush them, you know, take care of them. So to do that, like the maintenance yeah. stuff, but um, like I was saying, so if you, I'm paying $40, let's say a month for dental insurance, well, I'm not really using it. And here's the thing, even if I had put that in insurance, they wouldn't have paid the whole thing. No, I think with it so expensive now, it's better not, because if you add, you're right, add up all those payments, you know, and then you still have to pay part right. of the bill. 
so. There was a friend of mine, he lives in Florida, and he just put it on Facebook that he needed a crown on his tooth, and they were charging him like $1,800, and he has insurance, he said, but they were only covering like $997 of it. So he still had to come up with almost yeah, $900. Yeah, plus he makes the payment every yeah, month. Yeah, right, exactly. If, if you were to put that money away for, like, yeah. in a in a cigar box or something, like we used to. Right, yeah. Like, like my husband and yeah. I, when we first got yeah. married. But anyway, put that away every month, just in case you have to go to the dentist, right. you probably could pay for it. You'd be covered, right. Yeah. And root canals anyway. Oh, it's Ooh. just been a story. Anyway, but... Um, there, well, everything's expensive. It, right? Well, and here's right. the thing. It's expensive to the point that they are making it unlivable now. And then they wanted to know, like, oh, do you want to come in for, like, regular checkups? For I go, who can afford that? I mean, you can't even afford rent anymore. And what good is paying insurance, like, um, you know, on Charlene? So I pay insurance every month on that. But then I, you know, hit the thing. But I don't want to get it fixed through insurance because then my insurance rates would go up. So why am I being a jerk? It's a vicious circle. Anyway, it's more for if like I hit somebody or something. But yeah. on the good side, on the happy side, look what we got. Oh, oh, oh. I dropped that. What's that? It's a box of treats. So Yeah, and we have our coffee already. Oh, turn it around. You gotta mark it. Oh yeah. I wish they would have put it <laughs> I know. on the other side. Somebody has to like if I could get bigger ones. Yeah. So listen, I'm gonna get bigger ones oh, in yeah, the store. I like a big cup. Too. Yeah. Me, yeah. Oh that's yeah. I, yeah, I love big cups. So anyway, I'm gonna get bigger cups in the store. I'll let you know. When I, I wonder if they put them on. Yes. Yeah. If you're, if you're left, no. Yeah, yeah. If you're left-handed, it work good. Yeah, for us, they should put it on the front. But I suppose they want you to see it. Well, and I think that's it. Not everybody has a camera when they're talking and drinking. Really? <laughs> I, I can't see. imagine. Well, you're right. See, then you look at. It. Yeah. You look at. It. Yeah. Okay, we've got oh. that figured out. We're and, so smart. Uh, we're so smart. And then oh, no. uh, I'm going to be giving away another bracelet. Uh, what What does that one say? This one says, you are magic. I love that one. So it's a pink one, and it's got a cross on it with oh. a pink little jewel in it. And I love pink. It's a jewel. It's a very expensive jewel. Pink. Yeah. So this one says, you are magic. Yeah. Um, so I'll be doing like I did last time, where I post a picture, and then you get to you get to pick the winner. Yeah. The lady that won, Stephanie, she was so she's like, oh, I was so surprised that I won it. So congratulations, Her Stephanie. Too. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, let's get to the good stuff. Let's get to the treats. Yes. And you know, I think last good. time I said thanks, George. His name is Roger. Sorry, Roger. Uh, and then June reaches out to me. I don't know if June's Roger's wife or whatever, but they are every month. I was wondering if they were going to send it to us or if they were done. But they're like, we love watching them. And I'm like, we love doing them. Well, he, yeah, he even said they like, can they keep the videos? What? Well, can they keep sending us? Can, not keep yeah. the videos. Keep sending oh, these to us. Oh. They don't keep the videos. Oh, they don't. I don't know. They can't have my videos. I don't know. I'm hot I'm, now. I'm, I'm old. I don't know. <laughs> That's always her excuse. <laughs> it's always a good That's one. That's what you always use, if, yeah. If I look for any reason yeah. why I do something stupid, I say, oh, I'm old. <laughs> okay, so these are going to be at trytreats.com, and it's Adventures Over 50 is the code. And where's it from? And mm -hmm. uh, you get 15% off discount your first box purchased. But I'll put that in the description okay. below okay where do you think we're going this time we're Asia. <laughs> that's okay. where we always go isn't it uh japan uh oh i had it upside down uh, here look at this is what the top of it i was showing you the bottom so it says treats explore the world through food oh and then another guy from the uk is sending us treats from the uk so we get to try treats over there. Uh, that would be interesting. We must yeah. look hungry, huh? Yeah. We must look hungry. Treats so really we have that coming. So oh, I feel so sorry for those poor people in Ukraine. Oh, so yeah. Weird. Oh, I know. But it's not the Ukraine. It's the UK, the United Kingdom. <laughs> I'm old. 
My hearing's not so good. Here. <laughs> they're in a war, I think. You just keep saying, I'm all, yeah, I wonder what kind of treats they have <laughs> in the war to send us over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Some dirt pie. <laughs> You oh, I'm oh. sweating. You wonder why I sweat. It's because well, of... <laughs> it's my hearing. But UK sounds like <laughs> sounds it? like Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, it's the United it's... Kingdom. Okay, I don't know. So this is what's cool because, but I don't know. Um, you guys can guess what flag is that? Because they put the flag. Uh oh, they put the flag there. Oh, it's all falling out. <laughs> You should have wrapped this before we started. Oh, where, what, fun, where, what where, fun would that be? Where's the map? Well, you gotta wait a minute. I gotta open the tissue. Yeah, we should practice this before we... Yeah, we, we didn't have a rehearsal. <laughs> okay, wait, where's my glasses? I I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. Where are your glasses? Did you, oh, you found them. Okay. Ooh. We're going to... Explore Thailand. Mm. And do you know that's where I'm going to hopefully be going? Oh, really? So, Never a Roadmap. I think that's her name. Go follow her. She's amazing. And I still need to get her on. I'm starting a podcast. I didn't tell people that. I'm starting a podcast. Because oh. you know how I like to interview people? And I, I said I want to do... Th I don't even know what a podcast is. <laughs> well, it's kind of like what I do. You just, like, listen. But now on YouTube... They have a thing like in the drop down where it's like create and whatever. It says create podcast. And so it's through like uh, stream something. And actually, I'm going to be on Charlie Grace's podcast. Um, she's a van traveler. Oh, really? So, hi, Charlie, if you're watching. Yeah. And I follow her on TikTok and she follows me. Yeah. And she's about, I think she's in her 50s. And um, so, yeah, she asked me to be on her channel. On the 21st, so I don't know when it'll be up, but I'll let you know. Did, but, she, did she ask for me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. kidding, yeah, guys. Did. I'm kidding. I don't want to be uh, oh. on it. Oh, did well, she ask for me? Oh, no, I don't want to be on it. Oh, no, uh, no, no. I was kidding. I know you were. I was being But anyway, so. Um, funny. I was being funny. She, I saw her put that she was um, going to Thailand maybe in the spring. And I said, whoa. I want to go to Thailand. I go, is there room for me? <laughs> she said, well, I don't have the details yet, but I'll let you know. And then, um, you know, I'm going to be planning, putting together a trip to Bali for oh, anybody wow. that wants to go. I got to figure it all out, but I'll squeeze that in somewhere. <laughs> somehow. When I'm on the road, I'll have more time. I always say that, but, um, but so yeah, because I want to go to Thailand. Anyway, uh, Population in Thailand. Thailand facts. What are you laughing at? <laughs> about Ukraine. I mean, <laughs> you want that. Do you want me to take that out? If you want to. No. I it's too know. funny. It's, it's, <laughs> okay. Uh, population 68. Is it million? 200. 1,824. The language is Thai. Uh, the capital is Bangkok. The climate is tropical. Uh, the government type is constitutional monarchy. Uh, let's hmm. see. I don't know. Did you know Thailand is the only Southeast Asian country that was never colonized by a European country? This is why Thailand is called... Pray, pray, oh gosh, you're going to get me on this. I can never say anything. It's P-R-A-T-H-E-T. Pray that? Thai or land of the free. Thailand is home to the world's largest golden Buddha. Ooh, Ooh. I love Buddhas. Joy has Buddhas. Well, oh. I love Buddhas because they're always smiling. Yes, yeah, she has these happy Buddhas. The Thai happy, abundant ones. Yes. Thailand has 1,430 islands in total. That's crazy. Yeah. Thailand is home to the smallest mammal in the world. Kitty's hog nose bat or the bumblebee bat. Oh, Ooh, I wonder what a bumblebee bat looks like. I don't know. Thailand <laughs> is real little, do you think? I don't know, but thanks for coughing my way. I'm sorry. I don't have germs. I'm germ. -free. Well, we're this close anyway, so <laughs> 
Thailand is highly dependent on international trade with exports accounting for about two thirds of the GDP. And if you wonder why I need my glasses, because that's how <laughs> the rating is. But yeah, look at, they got horse, or not horses, they have elephants, <laughs> horses. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be. This month's trees come to you from Thailand. Thailand is often called the land of smiles. Oh, is oh, it? The, I like that. Because the people who live in Thailand smile a lot. Oh, I'm fun to live in Thailand. You wouldn't should it? go with me. Thailand is famous for its pristine beaches, lush forests, beautiful temples, and friendly locals. Thailand is the only country in Southeast, Southeast Asia that has never been colonized by the Europeans, allowing them to preserve their traditions and culture, including their unique food flavors. In this month's box, you will find a wide variety of snacks, including, Ooh, including both sweet and savory treats. Are you gonna lick them all? I might. Okay, good, <laughs> to satisfy your cravings. For example, are two different in your box this month, they come individually wrapped, making them perfect treats to take and enjoy on the go. You also find other geographically popular varieties of treats such as wafers by Sang Hai, a Thailand take on wafers, banana snack Ooh. by Jira Porin, a delicious and healthy treat, the Thailand version of Paki, which is one of the most popular snacks in Asia, and more. We're delighted for you to experience these treats from Thailand, and as always, we hope you enjoy. Bon Appetit! I can't wait! Isn't Bon Appetit French? Yep. It says Jing Hai Roy. I think that means Bon Appetit. Yeah. So, um, thanks George and thanks June. June and George. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so what's inside your box? Coffee candy, squid seafood snack. <laughs> it's probably the one we'll like the most. Roasted seaweed. So, I, I had seaweed, yeah. yeah. Solar dried banana, strawberry pocky or pokey, chocolate wafer, sweet basil by Lay's. Those are potato chips. Oh, that sounds good. Crisp, crispy crepes, soccer jelly, and mini pineapple biscuit. Well, they the pretty much they sound good. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's, let's get dig started in. here. <laughs> let's get started. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna try the Lay's first. The potato chip. Oh, look at it. Ooh, it says look Lay. At the, they give you a Thai lot. taste, sweet basil flavor. Yeah. Mm. And they these bags are kind of full. They're chips. Are they chips? And it's all written in Thai, so I don't know what it says. But here you go. You don't need to lick it. You wanna smell it? Smell it's, it? It smells like potato chips. It does. Yeah. Good, that's good. Mm. Mm-hmm. What does it taste like? It's salty. Mm-hmm. It's hard to place my finger on. Oh, it has a little kick at the end. Mm. Mm. I like it. Oh, see, I'll she likes it. She'll go back for more. These yeah, are there's good. a little, a, your tongue burns a little At bit. the end, yeah, like a little kick. Yeah, it's good, mm -hmm. but I can't. They're really, ooh, they'd be good with a soda. I can't, I can't tell you what it mm -mm. kind of tastes like. But it's kind of like a potato chip. But again, mm. isn't the flavor not overpowering? You know, like here right. in the U.S., it's like, you're just like hit you with it. You know right away what it mm -hmm. is. But this these, has a, a, like a little ting, tang. Tang, yeah. And, you know, it, your tongue burns a little bit. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean. Uh huh. But in a good way. Oh. Your tongue burns in a good way. I give that a nine. That's good. That's, That's a good. nine out of ten. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. It's good. It is good. Yeah. I don't lick anymore. <laughs> I, I've learned that. That's how a to personal. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is. I never tasted, you know how I am about food. Yeah. I like, I always had to be very careful. Yeah. <laughs> what I ate, so that's why I didn't know what was in all of them. And so I had to lick them. So, so sweet basil lace, classic lace with a twist sweet basil. That must be what we taste yeah. by Lay's is a unique flavored produced in Thailand. Each bite gives you a savory taste and a touch of heat. Yeah. Yeah. It. My time. Until still you burns finish the bit. entire bag, you'll surely enjoy the sweet and salty treat. So that's, I won't read this till after we taste it because then it, we'll say what we think. It kind of tastes like jalapeno. 
And then jalapeno. I mean that jalapeno. That kind of burny spicy. But in a good way. Oh, definitely. It was good. It was good. Yeah, you went back for more. I did. So I'm gonna show you this. Now what's that? So these are a snack. Oh, it looks like there's jalapenos on the cover. It oh. says hot, hot, hot. Ooh, I better be careful. <laughs> Do you think they're hot? Well, real, real hot. And this is what they look like. Oh, they're like individually wrapped. Oh, how about that? So there's different. Okay. So a split one. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's. Oh yeah. What? They're all together. It's like a kind of like oh. a wafer thing. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. These really are. Oh. It smells like fish. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh. Yeah, the. Oh. I mean, oh, it's hot. I, I just know. put my tongue on it. It's I didn't jalapeno. Even put... jalapeno. 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 And it, it smells like fish. That's because it's squid seafood snack. <laughs> I didn't want to tell you. This is not my favorite. No. I mean, for people who love fish and jalapeno. Oh, no. It, it, Good. Oh, I can't even take a bite of it. You won't. You don't want to. I took a well, bite. It I took that big of a bite. Yeah, burns. You just put your tongue on it to go bite it. Oh. But okay. Is, some people will love it. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Lots of people would love it. And fish isn't my favorite. And yeah, no. especially if it smells like fish. That's squid, and it tastes really squid seafood snack. Uh, by bento is a classic Thai snack. They love it there. But I bet you a lot of people love it. Yeah, filled with a unique yeah. savory flavor. Well, I don't know if that was savory. <laughs> and chewy in texture. I think it was, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm not being fair because I don't like right. fish. Right, and me too, yeah. Yeah. This is a truly unique snack from across the world and will make you taste the ocean. Oh, that's the truth. Ah, didn't you taste the ocean? I did. Did you smell the ocean? I, yeah, yeah, I think. But it was mostly hot. Yeah. My tongue still burns. Well, because it says hot, hot, hot. Yeah. And so that's squid. And then that's what the back looks like. And it, it even but says. But again, that's what's fun about this is because to them, this is their, like if they tried some of our snacks, they probably oh, would they be would like, like. Yeah, well, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings that I don't like it. I, I don't mean, think. It's just that it burns. <laughs> Just that it burns. Okay, crispy crepes. Let's move on to, uh, these look good. These look good. All right, let's see what you think of this. It's like a little biscuit. It's not the ocean. Mm. Mm. Oh, they're ginger with ginger filling. Oh, That's what that is. I can taste the ginger. Mm -hmm. These are good. These are good. Yep, got rid of the fishy taste. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can really taste the ginger. These are really light. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're really light and flaky. And ginger is good for you. It is good for you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, I like these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are good. Crispy crepes. Let's read. Let's read. And I'm not I... fair to those, to the one like that, that they last know. one. You didn't, I you don't didn't like hurt, fish. You didn't hurt anybody's feelings. No. Yeah, but I... But people know what they like. If they like you fish, heard, they'll love those. You may have hurt the Ukrainians' feelings. <laughs> okay, we're going to forget that. Crispy crepes uh, by Chung Guang are crepe biscuits with a crispy texture along with a kick of a ginger flavor. Mm. A truly unique snack. We bet you never had anything like it. Yeah, it's good. And we have never had anything like it. Yeah, Joy's finishing it. So. I, I, yeah, how can you tell I like it? Yeah, uh, I know. I like it. Ooh, mm. this looks interesting. Mm. I don't even know what this... This looks like a Kit Kat bar, kind of. I don't Ooh, know what that says. It's probably sweet. What does it say? I don't know. Oh, chocolate wafer. Oh, that's the right up my alley. Yeah. <laughs> right up my alley. Is it sweet. Is it, are there two of them in there? Nope, oh, no, just one. Well, we got to share it. There you go. Okay. Okay. Mm. Ooh, sweating. Mmm. Mm. We needed some chocolate. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
be good. Very and the light. one before was really mm -hmm. good. That's, you notice the sweet uh, ones are very, the ones I like the most. Yeah, me and you both. Mm. 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 Okay, that's good. And that was the, mm. the chocolate wafer by saying hi. Uh, is a crunchy and delicious chocolate wafers coated in milk chocolate, a wonderful and scrumptious treat to enjoy on the go whenever you feel a sweet tooth or craving, which is pretty much all the time. Trying, what do I do with my... Oh, we have two of these. There's two of the crispy crepes in there. What are you looking for? Clean. I know, me too, my nose is running. <laughs> I think it was that hot, hot uh, squid. Why don't you go grab? I can't get out. Uh, there's a Kleenex box over by the computer. Well, I think it's easier to go. Oh, okay. Back here. I'll okay. What was? What were you looking? What? What were you looking at before? Okay. Here okay, you go. Just, yeah, we'll just keep it here. Okay. Uh, so let's see what's next. What's next? What's next? Okay. This is interesting. Triple M stick. That's just all it's called. Look at, isn't that interesting? Is it sweet or is it hot? I think it's savory. I don't see it on here though. Oh, I know what it is. Okay. So this is the roasted seaweed. Ooh. Look at that. I know a lot of people from our I other know one. they like seaweed I know oh so it's like hard to break in half there you go mm -hmm. just take a little nibble it's very light mm. it tastes mitchy oh <laughs> <laughs> oh wait I, I had to get my coffee what does it taste like fish it tastes like fish, guys. Sorry, guys. We're just not fish people. I am so sorry. And I'm sure to somebody else, they would just yeah, you know, love it. Yeah, let's... So these are... Mmm, roasted seaweed by Triple M is a crispy roasted seaweed snack widely praised in Thailand. You have to have a taste for yes, it. Yes, well-seasoned and roasted, savory in taste, and crunchy as well as crispy in texture. This treat is addictingly tasty. Well, you know, I know, I know I'm missing half my life because I don't like fish. When I like fish. Everybody loves fish. My, a lot of my nieces and nephews, they go and they eat raw fish. Yeah, I and like, they, um. And they love it. I like, um. But I don't know what's the matter with I me. like sushi and stuff, but like, yeah, it's different than I think that. But yeah. okay, so let's try this one. So this is... I wish I didn't like it. Oh, so this is called Copico, and it looks like chocolate. So, oh, be careful, it's hard. I think you suck Ooh. on it. Oh, oh, it's like a cough drop. <laughs> but a chocolate, oh, I found my coffee. Mm. Mm. It's coffee, that's what it is. Tastes like coffee, it's doesn't it? Oh, it's oh. good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, it's good! It tastes like coffee. <laughs> you can have this instead of a cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. It's good. Mm-hmm. Coffee candy by Copico mm. are hard candies with a smooth, rich coffee flavor. Mm. These candies contain caffeine. Oh, that's not good for my heart. That's okay. You're, you're drinking coffee. <laughs> and four to five pieces is equivalent to one cup of coffee. So you have to oh, drink four, or bad. eat four to five. Or oh, four to five pieces. Making perfect. Plus I'm washing it down with, with coffee. coffee, right? Making perfect for a little pick-me-up treat during the day. Mm -hmm. Oh, these would be good. I like mm. them. These are really good. Well, I like more than I don't like. Right. We just don't like the fishy ones. Okay, so Ooh. I'm gonna finish that later because we have more tasting to do. We can't let them sit and watch us suck on. No, I yeah, you can just put it. Okay, so now we're gonna try this one. Solar dried natural banana. Well, I like banana. Me too. So that's what it looks like. 
drinking rum, <laughs> drinking rum and Coca Cola. I don't know why they're reminding me of that song. Well, this looks da -da. interesting. Looks like a, it's a solar dried banana. That's all I know. Ooh, <laughs> we're gonna cut it with scissors. Here you go. We didn't banana. say we were high class, did we? Okay, you're gonna lick it. it. Doesn't <laughs> you're gonna lick it. I wasn't gonna. You're lick gonna it. lick it. Your tongue went I like have, this. I I know. I, I I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. Uh, mm, that, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a banana. It's a brown banana. <laughs> it's good. Trust me. It's just a banana. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. I like it. That but the texture is it's chewy. Mm hmm. Huh. It's kind of like um, like dried fruit, you know. It's good. It's a dried banana. It's a solar dried banana, in fact. Uh, solar yeah, dried. It's not bad. No, really. There's not much of a taste to it. Mm -mm. I mean, it's not like overpowering or anything. Let's read it. Solar dried banana by Jira Porn. It's real chewy. Yeah, our delicious dried bananas, made using an innovative and hygienic process called solar greenhouse drying. These bananas are all natural, chewy, enriched with vitamins, and extremely healthy. They're really good. Yeah, that would be a nice uh, on-the-go snack, like after you work out or before yeah. you work out. or And again, not overpowering, like the flavors. And it's not messy. No. Mm -mm. So we're down to the last couple. We'll try this one because uh, this one... This is Soccer Jelly by Dragon Fried. We tried this before. I think... Um, Have we really? Another... Mm. What is it? Suck on it. It's grape. Mm. It's like a jelly, and that's what it is. What's well, good? Yeah. It's Soccer Jelly by Dragonfly. It is a jelly snack in the shape of a soccer ball. It looks like grapes. Uh, jelly snacks are very popular in East Asia. Isn't that interesting? They're good. Many people grew up eating them in their childhood. I can see that. This is really good. Yeah. Yeah, you keep sucking on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you, it's good. Mm-hmm. It's The consistency is really different. It's joy approved. Mm. Joy approved. Mm. Okay. We only have two left. And look at... Look at all the coffee pieces that you get. You can keep all these. Look at oh, all the coffee candy. I will. I like to. Yeah, you, you like to have something to suck up. Yeah, I do. I do. Okay, so next, we only have two more things left. Mini pineapple biscuits. These look good. Oh, Joy's still sucking on the jelly. Well, I know. I'm afraid it'll, is there a top for it? No, we cut it. We'll just set it sideways like this. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, so these come in like individually wrapped... Um, oh, now that's interesting. Yeah. What are they hard or soft? They're like, they're like a, cookies. Yeah, they're, it's like a cookie. Oh, and it's a sandwich cookie. Yeah. What is, what flavor is it? So it's, it's mini pineapple biscuit. Oh, this is really different. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I feel like taking it in half though. Like an Oreo? What's it? Yeah, like an Oreo. What's in the middle? Pineapple? Mm. I think. This mm. is good too. And mm. again, not overpowering. It just tastes like a like a biscuit. You know what I've noticed about this food from other countries? Uh -huh. it, it, they don't, you, you know, it, here, everything is so sweet. We talked about that before. Yeah, that's and, what we noticed of course, from all we, of them. We Americans love sweet. But yeah, these are just a touch of sweet. Yeah, and that's how it should be. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Okay, so mini pineapple biscuit by Dork, Dork Bua uh, are unique biscuits made with select pineapple varieties mm. to get a taste of pineapple that's sweet, delicious, and just right. I can taste the pineapple. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Good with coffee, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, we have one thing left. We saved the, I don't know, is it Pocky or Pokey? I'll show you in just a second. And this is strawberry flavored. So it's these. And 
they, they're like little sticks. Oh, and they're like, looks like pretzels with like strawberry on them. Mm. So, mm, good. All right. This is real chewy too. Yeah. So it just comes in a thing like this. What? What's so funny? Just your Ukraine thing, I'm gonna keep. <laughs> you know, somehow it just comes to your mind and then well, all of a sudden. I, that's actually what I thought it was. Okay, this is a pokey stick. Oh. You gotta quit eating that <laughs> to taste that. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> What mm. does that smell like to you? Mm. It smells good. Mm. <laughs> what does that smell like? Strawberries. Oh, <laughs> it smells like strawberries. Pick it up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like this. Mm-hmm. Because it's not a pretzel. It's just like a, it's like a biscuit in a stick, isn't it? It's easy to eat. It is easy to eat. Mm. These are good. I like them too. Mm -hmm. This is what you could take into a movie when you're watching. Mm -hmm. Could just eat one right after the other. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Those are good. And another one. Oh. This Let's is really good, good guys. Yeah. <laughs> and mm. that's the last one. We ain't done. Let's see. Strawberry Pocky or Pokey by Glyca. Uh, are crunchy biscuit sticks mm. covered mm. in strawberry cream. The strawberry cream that coats the stick is smooth in texture and creamy in taste. Good. Pokey is, or Pocky, sorry, I don't know, whatever it is. It, one of you would tell me, I'm sure. Is one of the most popular snacks of all time and is enjoyed all over Asia. I Asia. can see why. I can see They're why, really too. really good. They are really good. So. Well, that was it. Well, actually, everything in here was good. I just don't like fish. Yeah, and me too. So it just I didn't that... get too excited about those. Yeah, but... but we tasted them. We should get someone when we do this that likes fish. Well, we never know if we're getting fish or not. Well, that's true, too. So who do we know that likes fish? We don't have many friends. Maybe Dolores will try it. I'll have to, if she likes fish. I'll say... Does it, um, put a notice in the elevator. Does anyone in this building like fish? They're like, Joy's a weirdo. <laughs> Why would they probably you say that, that Yeah, right. Yeah. But Joy has a best friend now, uh, Dolores. Last time I came here, she was here. Oh, And then and, when I was just coming in. And Jean, I've been seeing her. Oh, lot. yeah. She and goes. then, oh, get this. I'll tell it quick because it's already 43 minutes we've been talking. But um, so... We were leaving and we were going out the door and there was a couple, a woman opening the door uh, for a guy who is holding a bin. This was just a couple days ago, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And uh, he goes, Tracy? And I go, like I was trying to think, I go, Mike? And he goes, Ron. And then it was Ron and Shelly, and Shelly has gray hair now, and we went on a mission trip together. Quite a few years ago. Yeah, we Jessie went to Mississippi. Yeah. So yeah. I've been to three. Uh, Mississippi, Dulac, Louisiana, and Nicaragua. Yeah. And they were, we were on the mission trip together, and um, her mom is moving into the building, and she's 85, and his mom already lives here. She's 99. And so both their parents, or both their moms are going to be living here, and they're both on the second floor. And we were talking about it, and she's like, oh, it would be so great, because I said, they can get together and you and Dolores can go be like the welcoming committee. Yes, we could. And so now you're gonna have a go, whole like girl gang. It's gonna be the Golden Girls here. Well, you know what? The Lately, it's only been over 90 that's been moving in here. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon everybody in here will be over 90. Yeah, well, she's young, she's 85. Oh my goodness, just a kid. Just a kid, <laughs> yep, <laughs> just a kid. <laughs> But it yeah. hasn't even been around the block yet. You're all gonna be the Golden Girls here. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Are you all gonna? You're gonna have a Blanche, who's like the sassy, sexy one, and 
Oh, yeah, I forget Blanche. all their names. Yeah, Maud yeah. or whatever her name is. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the one that was from Minnesota, who was uh, the tall... Betty Betty White. Oh, Betty White. Oh my oh. God, you can be Betty White. Oh sure. <laughs> oh yeah, she was from Minnesota, and that's she how she would talk. Oh yeah. And she was almost a hundred. She missed. I know. Missed uh -huh. being a hundred by, by a couple of days. Just yep. a couple of days. Yeah. Oh, everybody loves Betty White. And then she was in uh, Mary Tyler Moore. Thing. Yep, yep. And she she played a really against her character mm -hmm. on there. She, this, this she was very sexy, like very yeah, sexy, going after um, going after the fella, the guy. And, yep, yeah. yep. Oh, those well, were the good old days. how did forty five minutes go by so fast? I don't know. I don't know because either. when you're eating food, <laughs> the time goes by. It goes that. by really fast. Yep. Yeah. Well. Should we drink to that? Let's drink to that. Here, here we go. Show your, show your, oh, turn it oh, around. Oh, oh, oh. Turn it around. Turn it around. <laughs> oh, we can't clink. I'll clink on yeah, this side. Yeah, there we go. We'll drink to, to that. To the, uh, what kind of food? The, the food. Thailand. The, Thailand. Thailand. And to Ukraine. <laughs> not, not Ukraine, but Thailand. Next time we'll get something from Ukraine. No, from the United Kingdom. <laughs> And we're not laughing about what's happening in no, New No, no, of no, no. Not. You know it's it. sad. It's I can just sad. see a comment. Somebody said to me, Have you gotten any mean comments? Because you better not have, because you're so nice and you're so sweet. And I'm like, mm, I've had a couple. <laughs> well, if, if I don't mean to, you know. No, I know. You me. don't know. No, I, you, I, I really but that's thought what, it was that, from you. That's, yeah. that's what was so funny about it, yeah. you know? Yeah. So. <laughs> Anyway, oh, I'll be anyway. I'll bust out laughing every once in a while when that memory comes back to me. Yeah. So anyway. All yeah. right. Well, it thanks for fun. spending another um, tasting treats with yeah. us. Yeah. I, I before this, I mean, you know, we started doing this. I had never tasted things from other countries. Well, this no. is an adventure. Even just that's it the thing. You don't adventure. even have to leave your home. You can order a box of tasty treats. Yes. And sit yes. around and and taste them with each other and see oh, what everybody yeah. thinks. It's fun. Yeah, it is good. It is good. So thank you, Roger. Here's to Roger in June. To Roger. To Roger. Hip, hip. Hip, hip, hooray. Hooray. Yeah. <laughs> and thanks for keeping the send them. I don't know. It looks like it's going to be a thing. Yeah. And then when I go to Florida, then Keith and John can taste them with there maybe they go. like fish. That would be interesting. Maybe they like fish. Get a guy's open. a guy's perspective. Yeah. Because they'll eat anything. <laughs> well, they're, he's a marvelous cook, though. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that would be interesting to get Keith's take on a lot Wouldn't of this. It yeah. yeah. So stay tuned for that. Oh, Coming yeah. your way. You better uh, tell him the next time you talk to Keith. Tell him to get prepared. Get prepared, Keith. Yeah. Buckle up, Buttercup. <laughs> okay. Are well, you ready? Should we say good night? Good day. Good day. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. All right. Go out and make an, an adventure, adventure, no matter how okay. big or uh -huh. how small. Even it's tasting small. <laughs> even tasting treats. Yes. Even right? tasting treats. Even yeah. tasting treats from different countries. And go call someone you love. And as Joy says, tell them you love them. And do you know somebody said I say it with you every single time at the end? Oh, like yeah, <laughs> they say it with us. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And don't you dare forget your magic. Your magic. Yeah. Okay. Say good night, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm. Love you. Ah. <laughs> Good night, Ukraine. Yes, yes. <laughs>